and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is James Liu. He is ranked 13th in his Platinum Division with 2,518 points, 465 wins, and 464 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the north up against James Liu. He is the blue Protoss player in the south. And he says sup, which is always cool to hear. But uh, I don't think I even caught that. I was just too busy trying to get stuff done that day. Uh, it was it was just a, a weird day for me that day. So Oh, no, I did actually type back. And yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, my opponents had been, you know, all over the map from from the top uh, top part of platinum to the bottom part of silver. I just could not predict what my opponents were going to be coming at with next. And here we go, another decently ranked platinum player that I'm going to be playing up against. So I, I, once again, not he's slightly favored, and this this probe's not doing anything. There we go. Yes, you're supposed to be mining. Lazy probe. What? What is that? Come on, man. Gotta step it up. Don't make me click you. But, the map is Metalopolis. I don't know if I mentioned that. I think I did not. I was wondering. I'm like, I forgot to say something. The map is Metalopolis, which is... Still not my favorite map, but against Protoss players, I typically don't have too much trouble with it. But it does change my build drastically. If I was uh, up against a Zerg player, I would, you know, definitely go for a mech build in these kind of spawning locations. He's going to go do some harassment on my SCV building the barracks. Am I going to be able to save him? Yes, I, it looks like I am going to be able to scare him off. And once again, following him the entire time. This SCV has been hanging out here for far too long. He needs to get down inside this guy's base to find out what's going on. And here, I think I do a relatively smart thing. I queue up just a few here and then send them right back. Ugh. No, I didn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Once again. But I do know that the Protoss player is going for a Cybernetics Core. But see, now I just didn't queue him up all that much while I was trying to deal with this. Oh, he almost stole my minerals. That probe. Oh, I hate that probe. So I finally get my first Marine out. So I'm going to be trying to finish him off before he's able to get anything done. Looks like he was trying to go for the little smoke trick here, but it's not going to work for me. And that... Yes, the Marine did get that kill. He is going for a second gateway. It looks like my SCV got caught there between the Cybernex Core and the Nexus. And he did die. Twilight Council is on the way. Once again, we might be seeing blinked stalkers on this map. But who's to say we do have one Zealot on the way, so we could be seeing charged Zealots as well. And what is this? It looks like I am going for a factory. I am not going to be going for three wrecks on this map because we spawned so far apart. But I wanted to get a second barracks before I got that factory because I was scared of some early aggression, especially by a proxy pylon, uh, possibly here or so and I wanted to have enough of an army to hold that off while I tried to tech up I did supply lock myself because once again new build for me so I'm trying to figure out all the mechanics of it and what's this I'm going for an expansion here so I'm going for some early economic builds with some tech so we are going to be seeing quite a different build for me but meanwhile my opponent is going for three gates with zealots and they are researching charge so we are going to be see seeing charge zealots we don't see that very often against Terran players at least what I've seen he is expecting me to go for siege tanks I would assume charge zealots are very good against siege tanks and it does look like that is what I'm going for here I I need more production facilities up though 
what is going on here. I assume that I just, I, I'm thinking that I just don't have enough for another production facility right now, but they need to go up eventually. I am getting my second refinery. The expansion is about three quarters of the way done, and it looks like I'm supply locked again. Just waiting on minerals, it looks like, for the supply depots to finish. Now I am fully saturated on two gas, and I do take a lead in the income. Thanks to that mule, even though he does have one more harvester than I do. He is also going for his expansion. He is supporting that with his five zealots, and one zealot is inside his base to make sure nothing goes down there. And there we go. I was about to say, don't know why that is not a warp gate yet, but it is now, and charge is finished as well. I am getting stim pack because that is still very important. You always want to get stim pack whenever you have any sort of bio army as Terran. That is what I found because it does so much for you. It helps your micro, it uh, does increase damage, and really all it costs you is 10 health, which is probably what you would lose. You know, you would lose more than that not using the stim pack. Concussive shells are on the way as well. So I can I, I can do micro, but if he's got charged zealots, it's going to be tough to do the micro against charged zealots. They move so fast, especially with their closing speed. I don't know if that's exactly what it's supposed to be called, but that's how I know your closing speed. Sentries are out as well. And he's going for a transfer here. Don't know how much that transfer was needed. Looks like I missed one there. So he's got 14, 14 probes, and he transferred the rest here and did not set a rally point there. And my computer froze for a second. Hopefully it picks back up soon. There it goes. Um, yeah, this will be the... Hmm, how do I put it? You know, I'm not going to put it at all. You guys are just going to have to wait. Let's just say that there is something coming up soon that I am very excited about. It looks like, based on how many games I have left to record, it looks like just one more day of games after this. I actually... Uh, well, I don't want to give too much away, but it is going to be a best of three tomorrow. It, it was a really slow day, and I happened to fight the same guy three times in a row, so I'm going to be showing you that. Well, it's not a best of three, then, is it? It's just uh, three games in a row with the same guy. And what's this psionic storm? What? What is going on here? He, and he's chrono boosting that, too. We don't see, there There are no High Templars out on the field yet. I was wondering, I'm like, I don't, and he's, okay, so he's got four, five gate up now. Well, five, he's going for five gate, he doesn't have it up yet. And Psionic Storm is on the way. And here we go, an Observer is coming in my base. So even though he did not see that I went for a, a relatively large bio army, he is going to know that I... Well, he knows that Psionic Storm is going to work no matter pretty much what I have, unless I'm going for Banshees. But Banshees are not a smart play because Stalkers are so easy to get, but he only has one of them. So Banshees would have been awesome in this game, and I could have taken out those High Templars early. I do hate High Templars once they have Psionic Storm. And it looks like once he sees that where my army is, he no, he just readjusted his army a little bit. He, you know, just like uh, baseball players between swings at the plate, he had to readjust himself. Engineering Bay is on the way. I do have four racks up now, along with two uh, factories, and I am getting an armory to go with those tanks as well. So a completely different build for me, and as you can see, I'm not doing that well with it. I should be doing a lot better. I could even um, start getting... Oh, did I actually stop building some thigh videos? You, what are you doing? Why aren't you building? Yeah, you needed to do that a while ago. What's your problem? No starports yet. I don't know why. I definitely should get those. Like I said uh, before, I needed to get... Uh, the starports are the the more productions facilities out earlier, but I did not do that. 
I want a starport though because I want at least a couple medevacs out so they can start getting some healing done. But now I'm feeling confident with this as my army, knowing that my opponent has not moved out yet. I, I want to move out. And of course this observer will be following the army the entire time. My graphics are not good enough for me to be able to see that when I'm moving my army. I'll be honest, I have played recently on a game with higher graphics and it was so easy to spot cloaked units that it was almost ridiculous and I uh, now I understand why pros can just get that sense and just like scan dead observer but I could not do that I, I can't do that I still can't do that on my game right now and in comes the army and oh still Look at all these Psy Storms, and they're so well placed, and since I was caught off guard, I did not micro anybody out of them, and that is what's going to cost me this battle. And I, you know, I even panicked at the end. I'm like, holy crap, I need um, siege tanks uh, sieged up. Uh, one Marine out there to die, because that is what I wanted him to do. He is researching ground armor level one, that so I assume he has... No, he's going for armor first. Once again, I don't understand why people go for armor first. I'm going for my third base here. His is already completed. He already has one probe mining out of it. And he's, he's doing a lot worse than I am, actually, in terms of uh, mineral management. But he's winning, so he has a better excuse than I do. So I'm moving down. I do have a starport at least on the way. I know I do. Where is it? There's a second armory. I am getting two starports. I'm getting my third base, so I feel like I should have enough to cover all this. I'm producing four marines, one marauder. Where are... Uh, no, I need more. I need two marauders. Thank you. He is researching Blink. And he's getting a second forge, so he wants to get those upgrades faster, it looks like. He is chrono boosting the blink and not getting anything out of either forge right now, even though he has two of them. I am going for... Uh, I did get a second engineering bay up. So, I mean, wow, I'm doing... I'm doing some good stuff this game. I'm, you know, not perfect, but I'm doing some more stuff that, that is keeping me in this game, at least competitively. I am getting weapons level 2, along with armor level 1 for my uh, bio army, along with vehicle plating level 1, and uh, vehicle weapons level 2 for my tanks. Which, if I can micro properly, can do a lot of damage for me. And there we go. Doing good on resources. A lot better than he is. And he's just starting to catch up now. And we do see air weapons on the way. Along with ground armor level 2 and ground weapons level 1. Once again, he's going for the, the armor first. I don't know why that is. I, I, I like weapons. I would rather do damage than prevent damage that, that's just how I roll I am transferring here to my third base I am morphing that into a planetary fortress because I really don't need any more mules than what I can get now he is going to be able to spot that third base here and he has a third base of his own fully saturated it looks like he's got three warp gates there uh, nothing here, so he's got a total of eight warp gates. That is a lot of warp gates, and I need to take out that probe a long time ago. So I'm checking to make sure that he doesn't have the high yield expansion. He does not. We both went for the third expansion down here. I should have probably gone for the third expansion here because I am Terran and Terrans can build planetary fortresses. Once again, the Observer is going to spot my army and he knows that it's there siege tanks once again not only out of position but in front this is awful psi storms going down once again here i do micro out of the psi storms but there are just too many of them and he's able to get a lot of damage done uh doing the psi storms coupled with the charge zealots is a powerful combination because while i'm running out of the psi storms the Z charge zealots are going to be able to run up and catch up quickly to my army so once again i've lost two battles now i'm almost i'm over three thousand resources behind him in terms of the 
army lost. I have um, spent a lot more on my army though. He is just now getting that third bait or that third expansion on the high yield. And I'm sieging up because I see the army with with those supply depots. Stimming up, trying to get some damage done. He does side storm again. Am I gonna run out of it? There's nothing I can do with those siege tanks, and he's feedbacking the medevax, which is gonna do a lot of damage, but I am able to clean up the army there, and he has pretty much nothing left. I need to move out now. Go, 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 go. Oh, but look how quickly that popped back up. I assume the army is here. Yes, it is, along with four more high templars those high templars are it, just absolutely crushing me right now what i need is a ghost academy to counter those high templars i can at least throw down an emp and take out that magic which is crushing me right now with those th side storms i am getting a viking out because he's going mass air obviously Honestly, I expected a Colossus, that's why I did it, but he has not done that, and look how fast that army has come back up. He has not caught up to me yet, but he is doing a hell of a job, and that Psy Storm could not have been placed better. He throws down two of them, followed by a feedback on one of the, on one of the medevacs, and I am absolutely screwed. Looking back at the units lost, I got it close to even, but I'm still over 2,000 minerals behind, and I don't think I've been getting 2,000 minerals more than he has. I have, uh, maybe with those mules, but look how fast he can replenish that army. Boom, tons of zealots. I need a ghost. Uh, I need banshees. I need something to be able to counter this. Um, just, you know, those siege tanks aren't going to be able to cut it for me right now. Uh, possibly Hellions. You know, I'm trying to think what, what is a good counter to a High Templar slash Charge Zealot rush. If you guys have a good answer for me, I'd love to hear it. What I could have done in this game. You know, especially right now because I was scrambling here. I was like, maybe I need more factories. I need more siege tanks. I need them in position. I need them sieged up. I need... I, I need something. Um, what am I going for here? I'm going for more medevacs because they're doing such a great job for me right now. I'm just kind of panicking. Um, I, I don't really have a good explanation for this. And I'm trying to go for the high yield, but of course he's going to spot that very early with that uh, probe that's still on the, the watchtower there. And boom, Psy Storms once again. So good. And I'm just doing almost nothing to counter it. He's got so many High Templars. And they have so much energy left on them that it's hard to do anything to it. An Archon being morphed in here. Um, technically, it's merged, I guess. It only takes 12 seconds. And Thors are out. You know, I'm... I'm just trying to do whatever I can. It does 36 damage, you know, twice. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that this can do something against those charge zealots, but I don't think that it will because it does take a long time between uh, between shots there. And I'm uh, just realized I'm a medevac out there, so I'm trying to get it back in. I do have once again a huge production line. I'm going for weapons level three. Uh, on both um, my bio and my mech, but I just don't have the army left to be able to handle this. I am taking down quite a bit of charged zealots here, but once again, once those guys get a full surround, any sort of high Templar uh, psionic storm will be able to, to handle this easily. I do finally get one Banshee out, but there are just too many zealots left. I, I won't be able to handle this. He's going to get massive damage inside my base. There's a Thor. He's trying to... to dance around the zealots because I you know I've pretty much given up on this game here and I GG and there I go and that's the game so we are we saw an interesting game for me my macro fell apart at the end once again um just yeah how far apart how long was it uh, looks like I fell apart for about three minutes there which is inexcusable really and look at this oh my gosh this was definitely game over. These are pretty... Yeah, those are all zealots there. He's got one high Templar. I think he was out in the back. He did get eight uh, kills. I don't think he got that in recently, though. And just, wow, this was a great game for my opponent. It wasn't that great of a game for me. 
I went for a different build. It didn't work out that great to begin with. And look at all these warp gates. 4, 8, 12, 13, 19, 22. He has 22 warp gates. That is crazy. You have any here? No. Okay. So just 22. All 22 gate. That is how he was able to catch up so fast. Um, once again, I, Protoss players and Zerg players can get a, a lot faster, I believe, than Terran players. If you guys want to show me wrong uh, with some numbers, that I'd be happy with that. But from my experience, the Terran army is the slowest building army um, in in pressure situations. You know, yes, the the Protoss players and Zerg players do require prep in order to do it successfully but I, I you know I mean look at this just instantly instantly in um, and you know he he's almost supply locked here as opposed to me I'm six I have 62 out of 161 um, I have way too many medevacs out I needed banshees I needed um, sea tanks that were properly set up I needed um, you know, I don't know what I need. What What is a great counter to charge zealots and, uh, and high Templar side storms? I, you know, I'm not being facetious here. I, 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 I do want to know the answer here. And maybe you can also explain why you went for armor first. I still don't know why you did that. So that's the game. Um, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you laughed and I hope you learned and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.